What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike back at again with another video for you guys. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be talking about ETFs. I have a new ETF that I'm actually interested in buying on the stock market. My current dividend ETF that I'm gonna be talking about today is ticker symbol PEY, and I actually wanna replace that with a different dividend ETF. Simply put, we'll get into it in the video, but simply put, PEY isn't doing what I want it to do as far as what I wanted to do as far as an investment. So we're gonna replace that with another dividend ETF that I think will do a lot better for me personally long-term and it might be something interesting to you as well. So sit back, relax, stay locked in. We're gonna get into the video right now. Let's go. So if you don't know what I do here on the channel already, I basically talk about everything personal finance. So that means investing, saving, budgeting, credit, credit cards, anything relating to money, got you covered right here on the channel. If you're interested in anything like that, then make sure you hit that like button and also check out that subscribe button down below to stay locked in. Either way, we're here for a dividend ETF switch up. If you guys don't know what an ETF is, an ETF stands for an exchange traded fund. An exchange traded fund or an ETF is a basket of securities that trade on an exchange just like a stock. An ETF can contain all different types of investments, including stocks, commodities, or bonds. And in my personal portfolio in particular, I have different types of ETFs already there on top of the one I'm gonna be talking about today. So I have an ETF under the ticker symbol of BETZ, and that stands for Round Hill Sports Betting and iGaming ETF. That basically covers all your sports gambling, sports betting, um, internet betting, casinos, all that kind of stuff, betting rise, it's all covered in the BETZ ETF. If we go down, I have another one known as ticker symbol ARKX, and this is for space exploration and innovation. This is Kathy Wood's ETF, and under that one, basically, you're gonna cover everything that's regarding to space exploration and innovation. So SpaceX, whenever they decide to go public, will be in here, and other space-like stocks, or anything to get us into space or anything that has to do with space like uh, Lockheed Martin or something like that would also be inside of this actual portfolio. Past that, we also have another one known as Amplified Transformational Data Sharing ETF, and that's under ticker symbol BLOK or Block. They basically cover a whole bunch of different cryptocurrency aspect of things. So they have things like Coinbase inside of it. They have things like Square, PayPal, things like that that might be covered in the fintech space or in the cryptocurrency space are all put into one single stock that you can go and invest in instead of you investing in separate stocks separately. You would be surprised on how many different ETFs actually trade on the stock market and which ones you might actually be interested in. So definitely just go check out our website like ETF.com and you can probably find a type of ETF you might be looking for when you're coming to investing in something that you might not know a lot about or something you do know a lot about. Maybe you're interested in the fintech space. Maybe you're interested in Square and PayPal and stuff like that. You can simply go to ETF.com, type in Square or PayPal and it'll actually show you all the ETFs that actually have that actual particular stock inside of it, which is pretty cool. And they don't pay me to say that. I just found the website and I didn't know it existed and now I do. Pretty cool stuff. Or if you have completely no idea what you want to invest in, but you know you want to be invested in the stock market and maybe the entire stock market long term, then go and invest in the ETF like the Vanguard ETF under ticker symbol VTI, which covers the entire stock market. It's as simple as that. Either way, let's actually get into my particular ETF and talk about what we need to talk about today, which is a dividend ETF that I actually plan on replacing. So let's actually open my Robinhood portfolio on up and show you guys exactly which dividend ETF I'm talking about getting rid of and which one I'm actually going to be replacing it with. Either way, today is actually a nice date I'm, I'm almost up a little bit over one percent we were actually over one percent for a bit of time but um it dropped down a little bit either way we're not here for that and we're also at thirty thousand, which is nice as well either way we're not here for that we scroll down a little bit we can see the dividend etf i'm talking about is under ticker symbol pey the one i mentioned before we click on that and that is for power shares high yield equity dividend achieve achievers wow achievers <laughs> achievers portfolio etf this is sitting at twenty dollars and twenty seven cents right now i have about 50 shares and i'm currently down about 2.28 percent if we scroll down even further it'll actually show you the dividend yield as well as the expense ratio right now the dividend yield is how much you're actually going to pay it out on a yearly basis but right now it says a 30-day yield of 4.09 percent i usually go and check somewhere else like nasdaq.com to go and see what the actual dividend yield of this particular stock is and last time i checked nasdaq.com before recording this video it was 3.9 percent for the dividend yield and the expense ratio on there was 0.53% on Robinhood it says 0.52% either way the dividend yield and the expense ratio are pretty important things when it comes to actually finding a dividend stock not the only thing you need to look for when finding a dividend stock but as far as a dividend ETF the expense ratio is pretty important simply put the expense ratio is how much you're actually gonna have to pay on a yearly basis to go ahead and have this ETF managed and publicly traded on the stock market let's say I got a 10% return by the end of the year on ticker symbol PEY, this particular ETF, not my, pro, not my whole portfolio, just this particular ETF, 
I got 10% return. If we scroll down, like I said before, the expense ratio is 0.52%. So that means automatically off the bat, before you receive any part of your return, they're gonna take 0.52%, which is half of 1% roughly. The top three holdings in this particular ETF is 1OK, AT&T, and Altria Group. And as far as what ticker symbol PEY looks for when it comes to actually getting a dividend stock and putting it into their very own ETF, they're looking for companies that provide great dividend stability. They want companies that have over 10 straight years of dividend increases and growth. But honestly, in my personal opinion, the growth isn't as substantial as it should be and doesn't really translate over to the ETF as much as I want it to. Personally, I'd rather sacrifice a little bit of that dividend to ensure that I'm also getting a nice yearly return as well. And honestly, looking back at the history of ticker symbol PEY, the yearly return isn't anything to brag about about versus other dividend ETFs. My Robinhood portfolio isn't solely just dividends, it's dividends and growth. So I definitely wanna find an ETF to match that. And I think I found one after looking for about a week, two weeks now. And that is under ticker symbol DGRO. Ticker symbol DGRO or iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF is just what I'm looking for sitting at 52.08 a share right now. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see I have a position of about $10 in it, but that'll soon be a lot more than that as I move my money from pay on over over to this one. Either way, we scroll down even more, we can see I have a recurring investment set up on it as well for every for $5 every single week. And past that, the 30-day yield is about 2.26%, and that expense ratio is only 0.08%, which is a lot less than ticker symbol PEY as well. If we look back at the history of ticker symbol DGRO, it's definitely not as much dividend when it comes to the actual dividend yield, but also it grows at a nice rate that I actually like, that I'm actually comfortable with on a yearly type of basis versus ticker symbol PEY. EY, which simply doesn't grow as much as I wanted to, as I mentioned before. I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of dividend to get a little bit more growth and just have everything balanced out just a little bit more. Either way, the top three holdings in this particular ETF are Microsoft, Apple, and Pfizer, with nearly 20% of the portfolio being taken up by the technology sector. iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF actually finds stocks that are paying increasing steady dividends for five years straight. Plus, they ensure that those companies don't pay out any more than 75% of their earnings to ensure that we can actually receive some solid growth from the stock, as well as actually get a decent dividend. Nothing crazy, but nothing little as well. This will basically lock me in for a little bit less, but steady dividend growth, as well as steady growth with these overall companies as well, because they're not going to pay out all their earnings in the form of dividends. And they're also going to have that reinvested back into the company to make them grow even further. On top of that, they're also looking for companies that have done this for five years, which I think is great as well. And it's funny because honestly, all of this is just a learning process. When I first started investing in a dividend ETF, I was looking at ticker symbol SPHD. I realized that that was actually a solid investment for me at the time, but it simply doesn't have the growth that I was looking for. Then I moved on over to ticker symbol PEY because it was a little bit cheaper and honestly I didn't do much research past it being a little bit cheaper which was honestly my fault which yeah it makes a lot of sense but now since I actually found a dividend ETF with high growth and a solid dividend nothing crazy I'm actually really happy with it and I'm pretty excited pretty excited to actually move forward and actually invest in this particular dividend ETF this growth dividend ETF but if you're interested in something that has a little bit less growth but honestly is more consistent and also has a higher dividend then I would go for something like ticker symbol NOBL and that's right here that is pro shares S&P 500 dividend aristocrats It's sitting at 92.79 a share right now and they basically only invest in dividend aristocrats so that basically means they only invest in companies that have been paying a consistent dividend and also increasing that consistent dividend for the past 25 years. So honestly, that's solid backing behind them. You'll get a little bit more of a dividend and you'll also pay a little bit more of an expense ratio, but still nothing as high as ticker symbol PEY. And lastly, if you want a little bit more risk when it comes to actually finding a dividend ETF that's actually going to pay you a consistent high dividend payout, but the stocks might not always be the best particular stocks on there, you can go with ticker symbol VIG, and that is Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF sitting at $160 a share right now. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see their expense ratio is super low, actually the lowest on this list that I mentioned today at 0.06, and the 30-day yield is about 1.63%. But as you can see over the past five years, if we're just looking at that is actually really really good growth as far as you investing five years ago and getting your profits now if you decide to take profits but on top of that they only actually invest in companies that have been paying a consistent dividend for about 10 years straight but past that they don't really have any other criteria so these companies might not be the best companies but you're taking a little bit more risk and you're also receiving a lot more reward and in this
this case it's actually worked out in your case it might not i have no idea what the stock market could be or this actual dividend etf could be in the next five years but over previous history it seemed pretty solid and vanguard i mean as far as everything goes vanguard does have some solid funds this is, might not be the best fund for you but like i said if you're willing to take more risk then here you go this is a nice one for you either way i like all these honestly over ticker symbol sphd and ticker symbol pey so you know pick ever pick whichever one you want because of course these aren't all your options but these are the options that i presented to you today so if you want to go and research some and drop them down in the comment section below feel free to do that and let me know maybe i picked the wrong one but personally i think i got a solid one i'm gonna be moving my money from pay on over to that but either way that's pretty much it as far as my dividend etf video goes that's what i'm gonna be doing with that particular part of my portfolio i was actually thinking about doing a new not a new series, but just a mid portfolio month update type of video because I made a lot of changes to my portfolio in the past like week, two weeks. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Definitely drop a like and let me know down in the comment section. Would you like to see the different changes I made to my portfolio already? Before we actually move into the next month of September, that's the next time you'll actually receive a portfolio update from me personally. So without that, you wouldn't really know unless you're in my free discord because in my free discord, I let you guys know every single time I make a pretty big trade or substantial trade. If I'm buying one or two shares, I usually don't say much but if I'm actually making a solid trade which I've been doing for the past two weeks and I've alerted my discord every single time then you definitely want to be in there 100% free literally all you have to do is join you get to join a free community that talks all about personal finance stuff we mainly talk about investing stuff in there but literally you can talk about whatever you want we have topics for everything so whatever you want to talk about is there but past that that is it for the video so definitely hit a like if you actually enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this definitely check out the patreon link down below for free check out robin hood i think they're actually offering five free stocks right now which is kind of crazy so five free stocks you sign up for robin hood uh two free stocks if you sign up for weeble public you're also gonna get a free stock in one finance you're gonna get a free 30 dollars or 50 dollars past that you're also gonna get some free cryptocurrency with my links down below as well as free money back on gas so check all those links out down below i already have them laid out down there for you check the comment section talk amongst yourselves let me know if you have any questions comments that you want to talk about in a previous video or in a future video anything like that and that's pretty much it also check the patreon if you want to further support the channel and that's kind of it for the video so thank you very much for watching that's what i'm doing with my portfolio as far as the etf goes the dividend etf so there you go i'm out take care of yourself stay safe stay hydrated dollar mike peace